Welcome to Dynamic Speed Fitness. Exercise of the month is high band bar. Here we have a hook that's about nine and a half feet high. Um, you really only need an attachment, a hook, a bar, anything that you can put a band that's above your head, seven to seven and a half feet or so minimum. Anything higher than that obviously adds more stress to the uh, exercise. We're going to show three different exercises. Rows, rows with a kettlebell, and then rows with a hop. Each one is a more progressive movement. First one is just straight standard rows. You're going to come out far enough from the band to add good resistance. Get down in a side squat position to engage your abs, hip flexors, legs, pull straight back, all the way back. Hands to the sides of your chest, straight back. Next progression is rows with the kettlebell swing. The concept of the kettlebell is making sure we're using our hips so we get our abs and hips involved to pull the weight up and using the rows at the same time, multi-directional action. As we're starting down, coming up, popping the weight up, through. Make sure we're still breathing. In our nose, now, out of our here. Using my hips to get the kettlebell to come up, using my lats to get the row. Make sure those hips keep popping. Get the kettlebell to come up across the middle of your chest. About shoulder width, just a little bit higher than the kettlebell. The next progression is high band row with a hop. There are two different hops. We have a straight hop and we have a lateral hop. The first one I'm going to do is a straight hop. Small, soft hop in the squat position. As I go down in the squat, I'm going to do the row. Here, as I explode up, hands come straight. The next one is with a lateral hop. Take a step to the side. As you go down, same principles. So now I'm getting lateral hip work. Let's put all three together so you can see all of them at once. Choose the one that best fits your fitness level and your comfortability. Okay. 